Hello everybody, you join us here on an exciting visit to see one of our good customers who purchased two restoration projects last year. One is a 1964 Morris Mini Cooper and the other is a 1953 Land Rover Series 180 inch. Hey, yeah, look, there she is in all her glory. So we purchased this in February from Manor Park Classics and as soon as I saw it I fell in love with it and because um, I had one when I was a kid I wanted another one and she used to have one, she used to drive one when she was pregnant. So we bought this because it was an original 80 inch, very rare, spent his entire life in the outback in Australia on some sort of farm I presume, I don't know. But as you can see it's been sandblasted with the um, the sand and that's all original so I kept it original I've just uh, cleaned her up and polished her she had no rust on her whatsoever not one grain of rust on her anywhere so she's naked and painted and cleaned up and made original she's beautiful she's lovely and she runs as quiet as an angel's fart So that's the original engine, distributor, nothing new on it, even, even the original uh, radiator, dated, and it's radiator. dated 1953, the original plates, all the original engine numbers. Got the engine going and nothing else really need, need to do with nothing, no chassis, no welding or anything like that. Just well it's been stripped going. right down yeah. to the last nut and bolt, Perfect. the chassis has oh, been okay. painted and the chassis was still full of Australian sand <laughs> and the wife watches Australian outback uh, gold hunters so she was looking for some gold in the sand but they never found any. <laughs> so it's had new brakes obviously and brake pipes and oil, oil seals and uh, gaskets and mm. it's even the original silencer. <laughs> Seventies, it was off the road. Yes. Yeah, seventy. No, and it was owned by. See that man there? We did some Top research Cat. on him. Top Cat. He oh, was the gosh. European scrambling yeah. champion. Right. For Europe, not England, but for Europe. Oh, Top, right. And that was him, yeah. Top Cat. Top Cat. Yeah. And champion. apparently he packed in in nineteen seventy-four. Right. Uh, stopped scrambling, I think, and he put it in a shed, and he left it there, and it stayed in the shed from nineteen seventy-four till Manor Park Classics mm. got it. And I saw it at Manor Park Classics and fell in love with it. And we were going to take those off, but we found out who he is, so now that it's staying on. We did the research on it. Yeah. So this one is um, original engine, matching numbers, original plates, original engine number to show it's a Cooper, the right engine numbers. And all I've done with it really is stripped it down and rebuilt it. Mm. And this has still got its original pistons in it, original crank. Didn't even need regrinding. And it's done 50,000 miles. Right? I've just cleaned the carburetors, cleaned the gearbox. I've got the brakes to do yet. Mm. But the problem is these early ones had seven inch brakes and you can't get the seven inch discs. Right. So I've got some made. Mm. So. What was the condition of the, the, the chassis? And uh, no rust on it really at all. There was yeah. one slight rusty bit there, which right. I've, which you can Sorted, see I've yeah. fixed, and that was the then. So, first time. Hey. So it's all original body, right. no rust on it really, a few little minor little rusty bits but nothing to worry about. Original body shell, even the paint's original apart from where I've touched it up. So you mentioned the brakes next, what's yeah. up with that? Uh, that's it. the interior didn't it? Uh, yeah, 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 I've got the, yeah. the interior's beautiful, it's original. Yeah, and um, 
So really, all I've done really is cleaned it and painted the underside yeah. and uh, stripped the engine down and rebuilt it and done the steering, done the brakes. I've still got the front brakes to do yeah. because they're seven inch discs on the front. Mm -hmm. And um, it's it's registered, we can put it on the road and we can drive it. Happy days. It's not going to get tarted up. No, it's not going as, as it came out. The paintwork's really. original. Mm. It's never been painted really. The original roof. I'm yeah. leaving it as it is. I like it. Yeah. There's one thing I can't stand. It's an old car made up like a bloody. Yeah. Don't say it. Like, well, you know what I mean. <laughs> they look awful, I think. Uh, no, I, and I everybody, for some reason, I think, oh, it's an old car. Let's get it back to showroom condition. Mm. Well, it was never like that when it was new. It went rusty when it came out the showroom. Mm. But for a, an old car like this to survive in this condition is incredible. There's a certain charm to it as well, isn't there? You know, yeah, the, the it's what it is. Sets. It's had a life. Yeah, definitely, definitely. No, it's absolutely lovely. I had a life. Everybody had a mini once. My lad used to have 27 in the field, didn't he? And everybody in the village used to give him minis. There's no rust on this whatsoever. I've left the original marks and dinges on the paintwork because it's taken bloody 60 years to get it like that. To make that so beautiful, you'd never do it again. An old Mini's like an old woman. It's beautiful, with a few, a few wrinkles and a few pimples and a few marks and farts and makes a few odd noises and puffs a bit of blue smoke. <laughs>